Hey you guys and welcome to another channel teaching. Um, I am eating a cough candy um, because I'm still healing from COVID so please um, if you hear that <laughs> with my teeth and the um, mic I'm sorry about that but it's the best way so that I'm not constantly hacking as I'm still healing from COVID. Um, today I wanted to talk about the rise of the divine feminine and what feminine energy truly is as opposed to what new age dogma and teachings that are out there. As some of you may not realize, I work with ancient teachings. I did not learn anything from the New Age community. I have been indoctrined and awakened to this entire incarnation. I did not have an awakening per se. And um, so I have been connecting to source energy my entire life. Um, <clears throat> Spirit uses me as a channel to bring down very hard truths sometimes that uh, we don't like to hear and so my path as a trailblazer and to create true alignment to spirit so that everyone can honor this you will feel the resonance of these teachings you will come to understand these teachings within yourself if you are new to my channel go through and listen without a non-judgmental aspect and, and feel that resonance within you and what speaks true to you I do have a Kali spirit, and so I am an altruistic, altruism type of human. Um, I don't enjoy drama in my life. I don't keep vibrations, even if you know an individual is uh, you know good in their heart and their actions and stuff like that. They don't match my vibration. They don't come into my close circle, and it doesn't matter. And and I hold very strict rules for that including people that I date, people that are close friends of mine. Um, I don't usually expand my energy in my close-knit circle beyond that. And the reason for that is because of Divine Feminine Energy. And Spirit wants me to bring this up as we get into this teaching, because Divine Feminine Energy is very pure. The way that the energies of masculine and feminine energies sorry, have played out in this world is very distorted. Um, we tend to think that masculines are supposed to be one way and they're not feeling and they're not sensitive and we tend to feel that the feminines are the one that the more sensitive and I'm, I'm going to flip that around for you okay feminine energies are the ones that are the goddess temples and I go back to pre Mesopotamian times Sumerian times when we didn't have organized religion I follow the ways of nature, the earth, and take the teachings that spirit shows me in regards to how nature works. You know, we are in the womb of our mother. And so I take what mother earth shows me. And the way that we see masculine energy is in the form, <coughs> excuse me, is in the form of creation. And in the form of creation, is how the trees and the plants and how everything is created in the womb of the mother okay how the weather is manifested how the trees grow how life force grows that is part of the mother but the mother is the soil that holds the container for all creation to spring up okay and so that's the beautiful harmony of masculine and feminine energies what we're seeing a lot, I'm going to say, in the New Age community, when you look around in the media, social media and whatnot, and you, and you see, I'm a feminine, I'm a divine feminine, you are going to rec recognize the sexualized version of divine feminine energies. Okay, You're going to notice women in bikinis, or who suit typical beauty standards, or who declare, you know, compromise, or knowing what divine union is like in regards to you know their ability to nurture a male back to health okay and that's what divine feminines do divine feminines are the powerhouses okay nothing can be spring out of the earth nothing can be seeded in the earth and created unless the soil is fertile right unless there's perfect conditions and perfect alignment of masculine and feminine to birth anything and so when we look at feminine energies real divine feminine energies are never sexualized okay because the
the interception of masculine and feminine energies when they first come together that is the third force that is the life force that is in perfect alignment of the final bloom of the plant of the fruit of the of the um yeah the blooming of the plant or the fruit that comes from that aspect of feminine holding and nurturing and growing and giving nutrients when the seed was planted and that's very much in how we create babies and that's how nature works right and that's how species you know the birds and the bees right so spirits taking us back to basics here um and so real divine feminine energy doesn't have to do anything so when you see in the new age community i'm sexy i'm confident you know i'm this and that like all of these labels that we put to divine feminine energy it's not real divine feminine energy divine feminine energies are so pure in their energy and it's not even an energy of gentleness okay because we have to look at the way that the earth if she has an earthquake she's going to have an earthquake right um if the waters overflow because there's no balance in the feminine energies there are floods so there's a very deep homeostasis of divine feminine energy of just being allowing and non-control okay and sexiness comes and is a derivative out of that okay that's what comes out of feminine energy is the sexuality because of that balance of homeostasis now if you notice in the new age community a lot of divine feminine energies are very highly sexualized okay um yeah thank you spirit they you know they look the, they look the gig right according to the matrix they um act the gig of this sweet nurturing kind compassionate I'll hold space for you. I'll hold a container for you. Okay? The earth doesn't do that. The earth doesn't necessarily hold space. The earth just holds her homeostasis for herself so that everything can spring out of life. If she needs resources from elsewhere, she will pull from within herself. The earth pulls the resources within herself to balance something else out. She does it for self, which then gives to everybody else. And so all these aspects of divine feminine energy that we hear in the New Age community, I'm gonna hold that space for my masculine and I'm gonna hold that container. And that is another aspect of distorted feminine energy because spirit wants you, okay, your creator, your um, consciousness wants you to be in divine feminine energy for self, right? And what that means is that it's no action in a certain way of behavior. Divine feminine energy is the ability to fully express yourself no matter what that expression is. You know, um, we have this idea in the New Age community that feminine energies are not meant to be angry, are not meant to uh, be strong in their voice of opinion. It's almost like the New Age community are forcing divine feminines to be highly sexualized, okay, to be very confident in their bodies and their sexuality because they say that is a free choice. Like, I'm owning my feminine power. I can dress how I want. I can show my body the way that I wish. And that is, and Spirit is saying that is the first aspect of learning how to love yourself. But when you get deeper into real feminine energy, there comes a deep respect for yourself your sexuality who you actually open your legs for um it's not a form of controlling that or using that in any way to get a man or to um connect with somebody it's that's the distortion of feminine energy that we see okay and and we have taken feminism to another point that we have said you know based on the feminist movement well i have a right as a woman that I can do these, I can sleep with who I want, I can do this, or I can dress this way, becomes an energy of righteousness. When we look to our true mother, the earth, there's no righteousness that the earth holds. There's a righteousness for her to keep herself balanced, and she will erupt that volcano if need be to balance herself out, and there's fire, and there's thunder, and there's, you know, massive amounts of, like, um, 
strong energy to birth and labor those things but she always does that for herself okay and so you can take that and say well I'm dressing sexy for myself and I'm being compassionate and oh no I'm so enlightened and I'm gonna hold that space for you and I'm gonna hold that space for you and it, it's almost becomes this savior complex you know I'm doing all of these things the divine feminine holds that space and that is I'm telling you guys not real divine feminine energy at all it's a huge misconception in the new age community a true divine feminine just becomes herself okay however you have been born okay if you express your anger, there's healthy ways to express your anger. There are healthy ways to state your truth. There's a healthy way to be firm. There's a healthy way to stay strong in your expression and not take any guff, right? There are ways to balance your emotional integrity within yourself and express that naturally. Now, people get very uncomfortable with this because no females have been conditioned this way. We have even taken um, this aspect of what a woman is supposed to be like, what feminine energy is supposed to be like. And we've even put that in our new age community. Well, you just have to be kind because being kind is the nicest thing ever. And you guys, I'm not mocking about being kind. I'm a very kind person. Um, and, but I, I, I'm all expression, so, you know, I can express all of those things. That's divine feminine energy. She's kind and compassionate, but she doesn't have a problem expressing her anger in a healthy way either. And she has no problem expressing her, expressing her passion. And she has no problem expressing herself in the way that she desires. Now, Spirit's bringing this up because I just had a conversation with my father. Um... Oh, I'm talking to my, my parents. I'm going down to South America soon in the next month or so um, because I'm looking to, you know, start setting up house and purchasing land and doing all that stuff down there. So I'm going down in the next month or so, five weeks or so. And so <laughs> I was speaking to him and I was very passionate about what's happening here in Canada. And he's like, okay, Rena Ali. Well, Ali is my maiden name. And so he's like, okay, Rena Ali. He always calls me that. Okay, Rena, just calm down, you women and your emotions. And I just gave it to him and I said, listen, just because I am expressing myself passionately and directly doesn't mean that I'm emotionally dysregulated. And he shut up. <laughs> I love you, Dad. But he be, he's quiet, you know, because we have been so conditioned that a woman cannot express herself in that in those characteristics right you don't have to swear you don't have to degrade somebody but if you're just expressing yourself in the expression that you're in that emotion that you're feeling that's another form of allowing your emotions to flow divine feminines are all about just allowing the emotions to flow especially if you're birthing a new path right when you are moving into a new vibration divine feminines you know moving into a new vibration is hard there's anger there's frustration there's being pulled between the old vibration and the new vibration, right? There's a lot of emotions going through, but what? We're supposed to sit there still and be like, oh, this is so perfect. I'm moving into the new vibration. Like, that's not real life. I don't I don't know about you guys, but my <laughs> my spiritual awakenings don't happen that way. Um, it's kind of crappy sometimes. And so um, when those emotions come up, being able to express that, in a healthy way it doesn't have to even come up in a positive way of what we deem or label as positive when you're birthing i don't know for those of you that have had babies i've had my babies naturally no medication i've been pulled my my second child out of me myself you know if i ever have a third baby i would want a completely unassisted birth that's how natural i am um you know you gotta grunt you gotta labor you gotta you know i was doing the whole all oh, open and saying these mantras and getting that energy out of me because when you are birthing and laboring you need to get those feel you gotta feel and relax into the body allow the body to hold those energies and to allow that energy to flow out of you it actually helps your labor and birth when you just surrender to what the natural feminine energy is wanting to create and so 
that isn't any different when you're moving into a new vibration. And when I say moving into a new vibration, that means you're doing your healing, you've, you've, you're done your grieving, and now you're ready to move into the new vibration. You're going to experience some trials, tribulations of older energies trying to pull your energy back before you can move into something new. You're going to have to express that in a way. However, that's coming out. You know, there are days, you know, I'm so frustrated. I'm trying to sing or play guitar to get that out. Sometimes I'm just going to need to go for a drive and scream and get that out into nature. However, it works for you. It's perfect. And so we cannot fear these emotions divine feminine not at all we can, we cannot fear them we have to allow them and that is the biggest distortion that i'm seeing in the new age community okay um this whole love and light thing <laughs> i like want to swear right now but it's like don't say it right now <laughs> oh but it's like i kind of want to do the opposite you know like not like hate or anything but it's like I want to say F your love and light, you know, it's not just love and light. Divine feminines have the ability to go very dark. You know, when you are birthing, you got to dig so deep into yourself. You got to get so raw with yourself. Okay. And when you open yourself to those kind of energies, uh, it's not always pretty. It's not always love and light. I'll just say, <laughs> I'll just put it that way. So we have to stop this internal judgment, my beautiful divine feminines just stop how you are expressing yourself you know we are raised spirits bringing up you know i've been told my whole life shut your mouth rena shut your mouth you talk too much your voice is too big you know i've had partners that are like oh you can't sing just be quiet like it's irritating or why you have such a big mouth it's so oh it's so loud it's so uh, that's me that that will never change okay so um i've had friends who just can't handle it right um who are like just you do not have to cut people off you don't have to interrupt people i'm like that i will interrupt people if spirit tells me to say something i have to get the message out and people that are close to me know that about me it's like no god's talking to me i have a message for you i have to say it and i that's what i go that's how i flow and i don't um yeah this spirit is saying the conversational ethics of our world you know um we even have rules and how we're supposed to have a conversation you guys right if you're close to people and people that love you uh it's gonna it's gonna merge it's gonna match it's gonna be fine that person's gonna accept how you are you're gonna accept how they are and you're not going to give a care a flying f or whatever else how they express themselves because it's just gonna flow when and that's divine feminine energy you just allow it to flow you don't have any of these conundrums of how a conversation is even supposed to be you know I've people have told me like you're not very polite Rena you just cut that person off and I told and I and I used to feel really bad about that but until like the last year or so I've told those people to go where to go because I'm like you know what um, when spirit gives me a message I'm gonna just say it and I'm sorry I've been told to shut up my whole life. That is just not how I operate. So this is never going to happen, right? And I'm a truth speaker too. I will put it out there. And this is why I love my clients and who come, people that come to me because I am just going to say it. I have no filter, guys. I think it's very important for Divine Feminines not to have a filter. That way you can allow your truest essence to be the expression. You know, um, they're giving me an example of ayahuasca uh, during a ceremony. I wasn't feeling the urge to dance. You know, I'd sit back and I'm like, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But something's kind of holding me back and I don't know. And I was just not ready to jump up. But then, you know, something in the bead or something just grabbed me. And that last bit of that filter or that wall would just fall away. And boom, I am up and the music is through me and I'm given some kick, some amazing moves on the dance floor and I just let it flow. And that is the point of the truest expression of your divine feminine energy, right? You're just allowing and relaying that information through you without any filter. So this is the work that I work with divine feminine energies. 
is to allow the divine feminine energy to give herself permission again to just be exactly who she is and without that new age dogma we can't put labels on what a true temple of the goddess looks like now spirit is bringing this through why it's so important um they want me to talk about you know divine feminine energies and karmic energies now so if you are dealing with a karmic energy in your twin flame journey or a lot of karma i've ha i've had to deal with a massive amounts of karma that have come between me and my twin um, is it going to clear in this life? Eh, I don't really have hope for that. But anyways, they want me to talk about this entire karma that happens. Now, Spirit wants to go into, um, first they're bringing me back into regards to the Divine Feminine Energies and how when you hit a place of being a Divine Feminine Energy, you become the temple. You are then told to build your calling, build your foundation. Um, and that, <coughs> excuse me, acts as a pillar of light. Um Spirit is saying the way that the world is going right now. We are going to fall in deep darkness, you guys. So if you are very serious about divine feminine energy and working with me, join my membership, book a coaching session with me, or talk to me about um, the courses. And I have some courses in my membership or, or anything like that if you want to work with me. As we fall deeper into this darkness, it's going to get very dark. Okay, Things are going to be very censored on the internet. We're going to have to learn to communicate with animals telepathically, intuitively, and that means that we are completely surrendered to our ego to balance and align within ourselves to reconnect to the mother. It's very important for everyone to reconnect to the earth first before we know how to manifest. Um, and the earth is the womb because she holds that fertile soil for anything to manifest and to grow, right? You can't grow without the earth and the mother's energy. And so that is the first connection. And then the masculine energy comes into the womb of the mother to create all of that abundance. That's true manifestation. What a new age community has done is very much taken out the feminine energy. And this is why feminines are needed to rise right now. Okay, because we are the two temples of manifestation that when you come closer into your calling, you will be grounded into the earth. The mother will give you the resources. And I'm seeing this, you guys, now all the resources that are coming to me to build my center. I can't tell. I have to do nothing. I, it's just falling in my lap. I do nothing. And hi connections in my like I would have never thought uh, things were veiled to me until things are opening up to me and I'm realizing now that this is true divine feminine energy that the earth the mother will recognize when you have hit a place of divine feminine energy that you're ready to build to call home other divine feminines and true masculines who want to know the wisdom of the feminine so that they can now come and um, learn that energy within themselves because even masculines must learn how to surrender and balance and be connected to the feminine on the inside. Very much how feminine energies must be connected as well to the masculine energy on the inside to honor masculine energy. So I think next week we'll talk about more about divine masculine energy, but spirit wanted to focus on the feminine. <coughs> Excuse me. So spirit is saying we're going to fall into a deeper um, consciousness that's happening here it is going to get darker it, it has to happen that way for the economy to fall and um, I know that sounds scary okay um, we're going to have a certain structure in place it may not all crumble I don't know but there's definitely certain powers and things like that that are falling right now and trying to gain a huge control on us and we're seeing that a lot in Canada where I'm at it's another reason why I'm leaving it's becoming very communist here um you know we're, we're getting ticketed if you go outside you guys i would have never thought i would have said that about canada but it's not safe here i don't believe for canadians it's going to be safe here in the next coming years um in the next year to be honest so um if you can't go out i'm just going to put this all out you know costa rica will take people uh, Guyana will take people go look at where you can um, downgrade learn online business and become self-sufficient it's very important to reconnect to the mother reconnect to sustainable living reconnect to learn how to plant learn about the plants learn about how to uh, grow food learn about um, 
your intuition, learn about how you can connect to the mother and to your spirit so that you can be really ready as we start falling in this consciousness. Um, and I, again, I'm not saying this to, to scare people, but we have to fall to wake everybody up, right? Um, and so spirit is saying, as we fall, these divine temples will rise up in this state of darkness, and they will create a pillar of light for those that are very lost, that will seek that nurturing and that divine feminine energy because it's pure the divine feminine expresses in purity without a filter that is the truest expression of divine feminine energy and so that will call the pureness of everyone's soul like energy attracts like so that others can then know mother right and this is another reason why i work and my path is ayahuasca because she, that's her master feminine plant iboga is the divine masculine plant but um the divine feminine is is ayahuasca i also have a great um respect for mushrooms are also divine masculine plant okay it's also a master plant so we start to balance that masculine once we find the feminine energies and so as we fall unconscious these temples are coming up okay so now spirit's bringing in the karmic energies well, spirit is saying there are so many different levels of frequency that are here on the planet and if you're on this twin flame journey which most of you are um spirit wants me to talk about karmic energies and some people may have taken offense to my last uh, video but like I said I'm a Kali spirit I speak my truth and uh, may have taken offense to me saying you know the karmic energy has no talent or anything like that now spirit wants me to reiterate a lot of this of what happens with karmic energies everybody has to be at a different frequency to activate and catalyze the like energy that they attract so I'm gonna say that again karmic energy or everybody right has to be vibrating at a certain point to catalyze that person into where they're meant to be now karmic energies and and this is what happens in the twin flame journey okay surfacely and egoically they have learned all of these concepts in the new age community the labels in the new age community um the act that a lot of people say divine feminine energies are even in the twin flame journey right they watch these videos they learn about it and and i'm not saying that this is a bad thing we've all been there but if you're listening to me you're ready to break out of those old ways of being because it's not serving you anymore you know there was a point where you know i was trying to be this kind loving compassionate person all the time it didn't work for me i got fire in my face i got a lot of leo in my chart so you know where did that leave that fire in me it didn't it, it became suppressed anger which i had to then heal so i realized that that wasn't for me and that way of, of being is not for everybody so you have to allow yourself to be exactly who you are without a filter and so a lot of these karmic energies are very lost souls okay they have a layered amount of karmic energies from other lives because they have taken power from this twin flame journey before okay i remember my twin flames karmic very very clearly and i was shown with ayahuasca who she was and what she was to me and exactly what she did to me in another life <clears throat> it i'm gonna just take another call can't eat here guys because it's my throat it tickles it's very it's not even a clearing it's just a tickle a tickle <coughs> sorry um Right, so Spirit is saying, you know, I remember the evilness that she did in the other life to gain power, control, wealth, money, you know, and the same thing was happening in this life, and so I knew, I was had already given me the message, you are never to have her in your path ever, she is not meant to be in your journey, and I knew that right from the start, and so I have stood by that, um, and it's not that these karmic energies, you guys, are evil people, okay? They just have accumulated karma from so many lives that they're finally getting it that they have to work through in this life. And so they've been able to mimic the falsity of divine feminine energy, basically what the majority of New Age community is doing, right? Um, I'm feminine, I'm soft, I'm, I'm mothering, I'm taking care of the home, I'm giving to you, I'm becoming a doormat. Like basically that is what the New Age community teaches Divine Feminine. But yet to be confident in it at the same time and to hold the container and to love no matter what. No, that's not, but that's the distorted feminine, right? It's just mask in a nice New Agey way so that it feels good, right? So 
you know, um, a real divine feminine would never take that. Divine feminine sets her boundaries and it's like, no, this is my boundary. This is what I have for my own homeostasis within me. And if you can't handle that's not my problem. That's it. Like, why does that sound harsh to people? Sit, sit with that. If somebody came to you, your twin or someone came to you, um, there was an instance with my twin. I'll bring up this example with my roommate because she was like a model type looking woman. He attached to her because he, he wanted to be alone with me, but he was afraid to be alone with me. This is why he attached. It was really funny because she was my roommate. So here's my twin all up on this girl hanging out in my room with me when he had no other roommate in his room. And so you know what I did? I put my damn foot down and I said to them, why are you hanging out here at night? If you guys want to be together and alone, why aren't you taking her to your room, mister? And I said that. And I said it firm, and ooh, did that jolt him. You know, the next day, he, they just went into his room. I knew what he was doing. You know, it didn't make any sense. He just using her as a crutch because he was so afraid to be alone with me. Yeah, like, I, it's a small room, and I'm showering, and he's in the next room. It's like, what? And so, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I was firm, but direct. And that's a divine feminine energy. You put your foot down, you're like, no. Why are you doing this? call it out divine feminine there's nothing wrong with that and you don't have to be angry right you just have to be strong in your thunder and strong in your stance and in your deep authenticity that's in your gut that's the pillar of light that you hold you go down deep where you labor and you birth and you get down in that gut into your womb right into your pelvic floor and you know what that you want to say and you say it from that space you don't say it from the heart because the heart is just your compass and you don't say it from the mind which is the masculine energy you get deep into that pelvic floor and you work with that and you state it and you ground that right and so there's no problem for you to say to somebody no and i've said that to my twin i am not working with her she's not part of the vision you know it go do go have a life with her if that's what you want and when it doesn't work out then you can come back i i basically said those words right because i already knew it was never going to work out and if it doesn't work out they'll just be miserable so i already know that i've already seen the visions right but you have to stand strong in your visions you have to strong stand strong in your knowing and you've got to ground that and not be afraid and have faith in that trust of what spirit has given you right what a lot of distorted feminines do is like we don't want to be that thunder. We don't want to put that down because we have been taught not to. And that's not real divine feminine energy. That's the distorted energy that we keep playing in this whole, I'm going to be kind and loving. No. No. And that's why we have emotional dysregulation because we're stuffing our truth down. And then when something happens, we blow off the handle, right? Have you ever seen a chicken with his head cut off? It runs all over the damn place. My dad used to say it all the time. He's like, Rena, you're like a chicken with his head cut off. But I've had to learn that emotion, ba emotional balance because I was rejecting my thunder. I was rejecting my Kali spirit. I was rejecting my gut knowing to say exactly what I needed for myself in balance of my own homeostasis with a firm grounding, firmness, firmness. And it can be loud. And I got a big mouth, so it comes out loud but firm because it's factual and that's that and that's my boundary and it will never be crossed and putting that energy and tension out and doing that we have been taught at divine feminine that that's not right we are told that that's masculine energy that's not masculine energy because i don't know when i birthed my babies i had to go back into that place you know my son when i was birthing him the last i was like half a lip of cervix left because i was so afraid to tear Oh my God, it was the worst pain I've ever been in. And I remember saying to spirit, okay, I have to just let go of the fear and allow this to happen. I had to dig deeper into the past, the deepest fears within myself to birth that baby, to finally be able to push. And you know, that's exactly what we have to do, divine feminines, in our everyday life, right? You got to get down into that deep place and you have to be able to put that energy down and be firm with that. Now, let's go back to karmic energies. Karmic energies have no idea how to do that because they are completely conditioned. They have, thank you, Spirit is saying they have so much karma that they brought over from other lives, right? And karma is not debt. Karma are lessons that you are refusing to learn, right? To evolve as a soul, right? 
and this is why they meet your twin because the twin the masculine twin right has awakened to the point to the connection with the divine feminine so they have a very high vibration and that energy will catalyze that karmic energies because they can't get away with anything of manipulation that they have in the past they may at the beginning but as that relationship grows and and the more that the masculine awakens to his calling and loving himself because as the feminine grows the masculine has to grow right we just don't know the process of purification if it will come together in union in this life or not but that process of purification and wherever that's at that masculine um during that separation what happens is it becomes more pure just by the work that divine feminine does and vice versa that that karmic energy uh will catalyze okay they will either become worse because they're denying to look at their own growth or they will actually become humbled because that energy is actually catalyzing them to find a look at the karma that they've created in other lives that they've refused to look at. You know, a lot of karmic energies, it's very difficult to look at yourself um, that they soon realize that they have been living in this distortion of new age psychological damaging distorted feminine energy for a long time and thinking that feminines are to be a certain way karmics have their own idea spirit is saying of what marriage and relationships look like they could talk a good talk they play a good game but it's not real it's not real it's just based on uh ethicages of what they have i don't even know if i'm using this word right but spirit told me to use it ethicages of, of what they have gathered in their books and their knowledge of of the masculine energy and have restored have stored that and recall it in the mind of the brain of the library which is masculine energy which is a higher intelligence and then they try to bring that into the heart and encase that knowledge kind of like a pill you know how the pill has a nice you know gel cap on it and it's kind of sugary and then they try to do that with the love and kindness or the sexuality stuff and then they try to take that pill and express that and give that to the masculine energy that will never work it works maybe for a little bit because the masculine may not be awakened to the point when they first got together with the karmic and it looks nice and it sounds nice but it, it's not very good <laughs> um, as you start to grow. Divine feminine energy doesn't do that, right? A divine feminine energy um, would never tell her masculine what to do. Um, would basically, would not try to fix the masculine, would not even give advice, really. Really, a divine feminine would say to a divine masculine, how do you feel about that? Well, why do you, what do you think about that? Where do you think your power is in that? You know a divine feminine would say well this is how i deal with it let's connect connect to the feminine within yourself i'll connect to the feminine within myself let's see can you feel me can you talk to i'll talk to you that way i'll give you some information energetically and then the masculine will be able to pick that up and use it at his own will of how he wants to work through stuff and vice versa you can also if he's in a distorted masculine you can connect to the masculine on the inside give him information talk to him that way and that information will get to him and he'll deal with it on his own but what distorted karmic energies do is tries to fix the masculine they don't want to be fixed they're a high vibration they want to figure it out for themselves their evolution process and their conscious expansion is very important to a divine masculine you try and tell a divine masculine what to do really they may take your advice for a little bit if they're distorted and a people pleaser at the beginning but over time they're going to tell the karmic where to go because i know for myself and as you are as a divine feminine you don't want people to tell you really how to be in yourself do you like that's not something that evolved old souls do you want to figure it out for yourself you want to gain your own consciousness there's there is a lot of uh, gold and, and beautiful tidbits of wisdom that come in your own journey through your own learning no matter how fast and how slow so the karmic energies try to be everything like divine feminine they read they research they uh, you know do everything that they possibly can they learn tarot they do all of this stuff and spirit is saying karmic energies are just very new on their path okay these karmic energies are not evolved as an old soul they may be old soul spirit is saying but they're not evolved in their awakening enough to as the divine feminine the divine feminine has a very small layer they're showing me like three onion layers uh compared to you know 50 onion layers of a divine of a karmic right um, because these karmic energies have not been wanting to look at their stuff until this this 
incarnation at this point, how it's affecting you. Um, that's why they cling, that's why they attach, that's why they do black magic, that's why they try to do everything else to become and prove to the Divine Masculine that they are the Divine Feminine. It works at the beginning, I'll be honest, uh, you know, <laughs> I kind of laugh, and this is why I am a little bit brutal, because I look at the, I look at the energies and I'm like, wow, you try to replace me with that? Like, what? And it's not a bad thing, guys, it's like, um, this person that you're with, is just all talk like how do you not see that but the masculines have to discover that right they have to go through that so there is a huge gap between a true divine feminine and a karmic energy right and there's nothing about that people are where their growth their growth is however divine feminines are all about everybody staying in their own damn lane right there comes a point when a divine masculine will rise right to the point that they can't stay in that lane anymore. They're gonna have to get on the off ramp and, and switch highways completely. That's exactly what's going to have to happen. But that karmic energy, guaranteed, Spirit is saying, the only thing they've gotten out of that connection is humbled themselves. And that humbling of their ego, right? Because it's not gonna be about what they have been able to seduce in the past, right? Or any type of distorted feminine teachings that they've read about in the New Age community about be kind, hold that space, just nurture your man and, and be there. And, and uh, that's very distorted too. Like, I waited for you. I invested in you. I've been patient with you. I've given you 10 years of my life. No. Divine Feminine Energy doesn't even do that. Divine Feminine Energy say, you can go. Even as much as I have invested in myself or this connection and, and, and you want to go, that is your free will choice. Just know that when you choose to do that and to go and go and leave the divine feminine and you want to go do that, just know that the boundaries are that much harder to come back in because the divine feminine will have to heal and will have to set stronger boundaries for herself to maintain her homeostasis to not allow energies to come in that are not as serious as she is to ground that type of connection and so as you move through your separation process spirit is saying as you are moving through that process right uh you are doing a deeper self-love for yourself divine feminine that when your masculine if he ever does come back in this lifetime to come into a union place you're gonna have the f you're gonna have a very strong stance to prove it to you because your worth has ex exceeded a thousand times fold, right? And that masculine is then going to have to level up that last little three onion layers to get to come back into union with you. Now, what they're doing with that karmic energy is starting to realize as the divine feminine keeps elevating, 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 okay, masculine is realizing um, how stuck they are, how bored they are, how annoying it is. Like, this is the same life, nine to five, day in, day out. Like, there's no creativity. There is no, you know, they may have a call, think they have a calling together, and boom, it's like, this is boring, nothing is happening. Um, because you need the foundation of, of spirit, you know, to create a real mission, right? You need to have the Divine Feminine who's very connected to Earth, and you need a Divine Masculine that is very connected to the high intelligence of Creator Force Energy, right? The Father, that aspect to manifest and to create with the Divine Feminine, and that deep respect for Feminine Energy, because Masculines gain... Thank you. Spirit's telling me to bring, <laughs> bring up that saying from a big fat Greek wedding. I don't know if you guys have seen that. You know how they say, I love this saying. Spirit is bringing it up, you know. Men like to think that they are the head, you know, of of the uh, of the connection between a masculine and a feminine because they can turn, you know, they can they are the head of, of everything. They have the intelligence. They they can look around, blah, blah 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 blah, whatever that is. They're the head of the game, right? But the feminine is the neck. We are the support system for that head. We can turn that head wherever the hell we want. And the thing is, Spirit's bringing that up because you can't grow. Masculines cannot grow anything of worth and alignment that is what spirit desi desires the masculine and the feminine combined in union cannot build anything that is of truest alignment unless they come into the feminine energy 
head soak up that energy of power that's why the feminine divine temples must rise because we are the true holders of that energy so it's not really holding con to containing you guys it's the balance of homeostasis within yourself to know yourself as a divine feminine and when you are able to hold that i mean i can tell you that's sexy men won't even understand what's sexy about you but they i can't tell you you guys i i have i <laughs> i can't i've never had men hit on me so much in my life i can't even i'm like what is this i'm just like <laughs> not doing anything it is the energy let me tell you there is something in that subconscious knowing when a divine feminine is around right um it's quite fun when you start to come into this place you guys will start to notice that you just gotta be you don't have to be a label you just have to be yourself that's the key right you don't have to be kind loving i'm holding space la 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 it's like i feel like being wild today or i feel like you know i feel sweet today and you just go by that and you just express yourself however that is and just notice what you attract when you just allow those things you know um you have to be in touch with your temple your sacral sexual places your intimacy there's a lot of healing that happens that needs to happen with divine feminine so please be patient with yourself as you start peeling away those layers of what new age dogma has told you of what real divine feminine is and how to like honor where you have been stifled within yourself and your temple you know in your own expression you know like and even the way that you say things to people or how you defend yourself or how you express yourself you have been conditioned in that expression too. really look at that my loves because there's really um that's the biggest issue spirit is bring up for divine feminines um for us to rise is to just do what you feel express what you feel and that actually comes becomes a lot harder than we actually think because we've been conditioned since we're little girls nice girls don't do that you know they're bringing up like that saying um what are little girls made of what are sugar and spice and all things nice my mom used to love singing that to me and i used to take great joy like i'm sugar and spice and all things nice and then i'd be like ew boys are puppy dog tails and i can't remember the rest worms and something and puppy dog tails but um we're already conditioned that way right that feminine energies are nice and sugar and spice no we're thunder we're lava we're earthquakes we create mountains as well when we shake the floor of our floor you know when the creator comes in and says i want a mountain we shake we change our balance homeostasis we shake and put to push two plates together and create a mountain you know we create tsunamis we create massive earthly destruction divine feminine do not forget your kali spirit do not forget your thunder do not forget that you hold a powerhouse of a multitude of energies and when that happens that attracts the creator force energy that creates lightning that creates manifestation okay um and so spirit wanted to bring this through because as we're falling in consciousness um they wanted to help you first spirit is saying in regards to any karmic energies that are playing out in your twin flame connection that the more that you come into true divine feminine energy and out of that distorted feminine you will not match that karmic energy anymore that will be a clear distinction okay because what's happening in the new age community with this whole twin flame thing is that you know we believe that feminines have to be a certain way it's keeping people stuck because that's what the karmics are doing <laughs> okay you're 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 matching your vibration to what the karmics are doing the same thing of what the new age community is telling you what a divine feminine is that's not divine feminine energy and so the more that you move away from that and really learn about loving yourself expressing yourself raw authentically unapologetically that is when you will start to really come into your real divine feminine energy and it will be completely different than what the karmic energies are doing and it will definitely start to shift your mission your path and spirit can then align you into the natural resource of how the earth births right the new vibration your manifestations your calling will start to unfold like i said in my in my last video it's like do you think i would have ever thought of moving to south america no way no but the more that i'm seeing what's happening in canada i'm not safe as a brown woman here i have no man to help me i have nothing at all so why 
Am I not going to the land of the rainforest where my lineage has been for so long and to heal and to raise my children that way? It's just something that you got to do. You know what I mean? I got to leave Canada. I, I, that's what I'm being told to do. And so, like I said in my video, that's not something that I would have ever, cons in my logical mind, I would still, I am still saying no to that. So I want you to understand, Divine Feminines, that when you hear Spirit talk to you about your mission, that becomes stronger than your logical mind, right? Your intuition and your knowing. Uh, Divine Feminines have the inner knowing, that gut intuition. We have that with our children, you know? It's kind of like I would know before my kid, you know, when <laughs> the good reflexes, when a kid's walking for the first time, they're about to fall, you just grab them, you know? Or you know, like I remember with my, with my daughter, um... You know, I would finally lay down in bed and I would sleep for like maybe an hour, but then I would wake up to her cries and telepath and then I would wake up and then she wouldn't be crying, but I heard it in my head. It's like we, and then I'm like, oh, she's telepathically communicating with me. I would hear my babies cry before she actually cried, you know? So it's these aspects that we have that inner knowing, that type of magic, um, but that doesn't come until we are completely in that place of our inner knowing, right? And when we're in that inner knowing, that starts to take over that the logical part of your mind, you know, there is a bit of a, dis there is a, bit of a discrepancy there because, um, and there is a transitional piece that happens there because you feel a little bit crazy at first too because you're like oh my god am i going crazy like i'm listening to this knowing like i have to move what and people that's crazy arena that's crazy that's crazy like people told me like when i went to bali like, that's crazy what are you doing you're leaving like a six-figure government job what are you doing like god's telling me to go to bali like i just would do it and people would see that as irresponsible but spirit always had my back the money always was there like now i didn't have to worry really about any of it so spirit really just allows you when you're in that space and just like Joan of Arc I love Joan of Arc you know you don't she didn't know what to expect but she knew that she had to go and warn them of, of the attack you know so you just follow how spirit guides you and even if your logical mind is at a point of like this is craziness that knowing will overtake and that's how you start to live your life right spirit well I, I take complete direction from spirit I don't do what I logically want. This is not something I would logically want, you know. Um, but I know in my knowing just how animals know, right? They listen to the mother. They know when a when a rainstorm or a tsunami is going to hit. You see the birds leaving. They will know when the rainstorms are coming. They have the knowing. Mother warns them. The mother tells them. And the mother tells me the same. You need to go to the land of South America now. You need to tap back into that those codes that are there. So I'm, I know I have to go there. Does it make logical sense? Probably not. But we have to follow that way and trust and faith is a big thing. And so to get to that point, this is what I'm saying. This is how we are going to start living our lives in the new world, in the new earth, is that natural knowing. Do you give up your rationale? No. But your intelligence and that masculine energy is definitely there for a reason. You know, I wouldn't be able to manage business or... Um, create abundance in my life I didn't know those functions and those processes of my brain to live in a mental world right but there's a fine balance I am predominantly more feminine it's a fine balance of that androgynous energy within ourselves to learn how to balance those two aspects so next week I'll talk a bit more about the masculine energy and then maybe the week after I'll talk about how the inner union happens with the energies within that may help you guys understand a little bit more about these energies so I feel like that that's all for today I hope you guys enjoyed that um I would love to hear your comments about that and uh yeah, I'm glad to be back. If you guys want to work with me, all that info is down below. I'm going to be opening soon. I feel towards the end of May some readings up, so stay tuned for that. I'll make an announcement, and I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.